This short video will help you get started with OneNote. OneNote is your digital notebook. Rather than taking your notes on pen and paper, you can take them digitally in OneNote, and that could be across your computer, your phone, or your tablet. You can access OneNote through the Office 365 portal by clicking one of the apps along the top of the screen. Or if you're starting in your webmail, you can click on the waffle, which is the button at the top left hand corner and select the app OneNote. We're starting on the web so that you can be sure your OneNote notebooks are stored in the right place. So to create a new notebook, you first want to sign in to OneDrive. You should see a folder called Notebooks, or if not, you could create one. And to create a new notebook, you simply collect the new menu at the top and select OneNote Notebook. So I'm going to give my new OneNote Notebook a name. This one's going to be uh, mocked up as if it was an IT project. So I've then created a new notebook. And it can be a bit daunting when you first start to use OneNote. You've got a set of sections on the left hand side, pages on the right hand side. So to start off with, I'm just going to give my section a name. We'll call this Project Plan. And you can have multiple pages within each section. So maybe the first page I'll just call Ideas. Then at the bottom left, I can create an extra section. I'll call this one Board Members. So now I've got two sections within my notebook. The third one I'm going to call Timeline. And you can see how this would build up. You'll need to apply this to how it would work best for you. Next, I'm going to add a page into one of my sections. So I'm in the Timeline section, and I'm going to add a page called Kickoff Dates. So that's the first page within the Timeline section. When you click at the bottom to add page, you just add an additional page within to that same section. So I'll call this 2019 Calendar of Events. I'll do a third page called End Dates, just to give you an example. So think notebooks, sections, and pages. Then the really simple way to think about OneNote is that you can type notes to keep a track of your thoughts or meeting notes for meetings that you're attending. So I'm going to just type uh, in the ideas section, improve people skills with Office 365. So that's just a very simple note of a meeting and it works very much like Word with you being able to click anywhere on the page and type into that document. I'm going to show you one that I've done earlier. In this case, I've got project board and think about the structure of a monthly recurring meeting. So I've got a page for January notes, February notes and March notes. I've also got a section for one-to-ones, which is a great way to use OneNote. If you manage a team, you might have a OneNote page for each of the people within your team. And then lastly, I've got a section here for external meetings. So let's imagine now I'm going to a meeting and I want to take some notes. This is a meeting we're having with Microsoft. If you click under the Home tab, on the far right-hand side, you can select Meeting Details. What that's going to do is to look at your Outlook calendar and you can see from four to five, I've got a meeting scheduled with Microsoft. So I've then clicked on that and it's populated my note with all of the details for who's attending the meeting and what the agenda is. And that will pull out anything that's put in the meeting invitation within Outlook. Then it just sets you up with a space to start writing notes at the bottom. You can record all these notes and that will be a great digital record for you afterwards. As you can see, I'm able to move that note. So OneNote is a bit like um, sticky notes onto a page. You can click a new note. I'm gonna click a, a third one there. And all of those become like individual parts on a page that it's really easy for me to move around. So I can reorganize them really easily afterwards. And this works very differently to Word where you have to move your way down the page in a, in a more linear fashion. So I can delete those, I can organize those. So imagine putting sticky notes onto a page and then being able to reorder them afterwards. Here's another live example. So this, in this case, is a project notebook for a white city building project. So I've got all my sections on the left-hand side and you can see I've added some images in this case. So OneNote is not just about text. You can insert photos, files, and a range of different things straight from the insert menu. That menu will be slightly different whether you're using OneNote across your PC or your iPad or your phone. So I'm going to add a new page in there. And from the insert menu now, I'm going to show you how to insert a picture. 
that's just as simple as browsing to your computer. So this image is locally on my PC or because OneNote is in the cloud, you can insert an online picture directly from that insert menu. So instead of having to go out to an image search, copy and paste an image in, I've just gone to insert online picture, search the term Imperial College. It's found me some images and I can just drop them directly onto my OneNote page. So that's a really simple way to insert images onto a OneNote page. Next, I'm going to show you the difference between a file insert and a file printout. Think of OneNote, as I said, like a scrapbook. So I've put images, I've put text so far, and now I'm inserting a document and that will sit a copy of that document into my OneNote notebook. In that case, it's just an attachment. But if I select insert file printout, it will then copy, in this case, a Word document, and it will scan it directly onto the page. So you can see when that appears, I've now got that same Word document, but it's printed that document directly onto my page. What you might want to do after that possibly is go to the draw menu. And if you had a pen with a mobile device, that would be even better. I'm just doing it with a mouse and keyboard. And then I can start annotating or highlighting specific areas of my document. So I'll just go and highlight that bit at the bottom. I can choose a different pen instead of a highlighter. I've chosen a red pen and start making arrows or notes. Uh, you, you get the idea. So that's a fantastic way to use handwritten notes, combine it with photos and print out some existing images you might have on your PC. Last thing I'll show you just quickly is a desktop version of OneNote because so far we've only worked in the browser. You may have OneNote 2016 or the OneNote app for Windows 10. I'm going to show you the OneNote app for Windows 10. Exactly the same structure. You've got notebooks, sections and pages. I'll just show you a couple of different things that I didn't show you within the app um, and other ways that you might want to take notes. The main one is audio. So I've just clicked audio and now I'm using my OneNote notebook to record audio. So think of it as a dictaphone that maybe you want to record a meeting or just record your own notes um, spoken rather than typed. Then I've got a note. You can see it's dropped onto the page there and I've got the play tool at the top to just play that back to myself. Finally, OneNote has a section called class notebook which if you're in the academic staff at Imperial, you can create class notebooks, distribute pages to your students and also review your student work. I don't have time to show you that in detail. So if you want to know more about it, the best way to do that is to go to OneNoteForTeachers.com. And there's a website there that Microsoft have produced that gives you lots and lots of information and tells you all about OneNote Class Notebook. Next, you should set up your own notebook and try jotting down some ideas. If you need help, look at the Office 365 support pages or contact your Office 365 champion. Thanks for listening.